Everything goes well today, no more glitches and something like that. And I challenge him and I hope he will answer, he will accept the challenge soon. Okay, there we go. So I got white, so let's start with d4. Uh, okay, because c6, c4, knight f3. Because check, I mean, I should go knight b2, right? So, b6 he goes. I have to choose my openings wisely. Eight. Bishop f4. He goes castle, I go h3, bishop h2 probably. So he has no knight h5. e3. He goes knight e7, I guess. Bishop e2. Castle. He goes e5 for sure here. Then I go bishop h2. I put the my bishop on h2, then I'm fine, I think. So let's go to c1. He goes a5, I guess. To get the a5, yeah. So I go b3 just to prepare for b4 a bit. Bishop h2. So can I go d5? This is the main question. I mean, mm, not sure. Rook e1. Or I could, I could get the a5 now by playing b4 and. Okay, he goes knight g5. I could close the position with d5, but don't think that's the best continuation. Okay, one, okay, so, so I take take bishop g3, knight f6. It's kind of unpleasant. So let's go d5. He takes, I take. He goes f5, I go rook a1. I don't think I'm worse here, but maybe I'm not better either, so... But if I manage to get my bishop out somehow, then I'm better for sure because of the two bishops. But okay, it's not easy to do that. So... Because queen f6, I will go queen b2 because e4, then I op he opens up my bishop. I don't care about in exchange then so and I'm threatening kind of to take on a8 and go rook a1 I mean or it should be 2 f4 is the normal plan but yeah let's go we should be two he might go for some p5 so I'm not sure what to do here I could take And rook, rook a1, I don't think I blundered anything with e4, queen f6, knight f6, rook a8, bishop b2, b5. Pro, I, I cannot be worse. This is the good thing about these positions that I cannot be worse here to any cost. So let's say b5. Okay, it doesn't go for b5. But you might pre prepare for it. So let's go bishop before. Um, I think he goes b5 now. Yeah, bishop g5. I take. He takes. Okay, that is not good. Um, what should I do? C5. He takes. I should take and go bishop c4. Bishop g5. Let's just go. Let's go h4. See if we take some b4. Bishop g8 is always the threat. So it's not easy for him. Maybe knight e7 he has to play. Okay, he goes king e8. 
So if I go King E1, so he now he wants to take, I guess. Bishop G8, he goes there. So Bishop E2. Yeah, he gives check. I am probably much worse here. F3. I'm lost, so I should flag. Bishop A4. Okay, I should be careful. Bishop A5 to not get forked. Bishop A6. Of course, I take now, I am winning. Yeah, okay, he will resign. This was a very close game. But okay, he was low on time, so I used that. Knight of three, let's go like this. I will go e5 here. g6, bishop g2. Let's play this setup. Knight e7. I will go e5 just to be safe. Is this b4 stuff? Castle. Okay, he goes bishop d2. He wants to try knight d5 and b4. Rook b8. Bishop b6. Um, okay, this one I, I think is better now. Yeah, this is not what I wanted, so. But okay, it's not end of the world, of course. So let's say I go f5, f4 here. Or no. Let's say, it, let's, let's just go knight f5 for now. Probably goes knight ed5, I take, he takes with the knight. Knight e7, takes, takes. Not sure. So now I go knight e7. So he doesn't let me to go f d5. g5, let's say. I have to push everything here, I think, if I want to have chance for counterplay. So he goes rook a1, I guess. Yeah. Knight g6, knight d5, e4, bishop c3. This is normal play. So let's let's just push the pawn, takes f4. This is not good, but I should try it at least. So now he wants knight d5. But it's not. I don't know. So if I take, he takes bishop d4, queen d3, queen f6. Let's just try it. I don't think it's good, but yeah, I mean, gf4 is very unpleasant here. So if I take this knight, he takes, and my king is very weak there. He probably should take and go queen h3 if I take back with the pawn. Queen h3, queen g5. I mean, I still have some play, but of course he's much better here. Let's see what he comes up with. My king is very weak, so I should be very careful here. Yeah, he takes. So I could take, yeah, I will take. Queen h3, queen g5. Then queen d7 is problem, okay. Yeah, queen d7 is so unpleasant there. I'm probably getting mated. Okay. How can I play this? 
Um, maybe I'm just lost, yeah? So let's say queen h4, you just lose queen e6 and queen g6. Oh no, I have queen f2. And queen g1 mate, so this is what I missed at first. I think he has to exchange the queens. I think he has to, he should exchange the queens. Yeah. And he goes rook d7 probably. Rook d7, rook f6 maybe. Bishop e4, rook e8, bishop d3. Uh, so he wants bishop h3, f3. I don't like this. Rook f6. Plus bishop h3. Probably. F3, I have to push. E3, I guess. King H8. E3. Should be 5. I should be careful just to not get mated here. That's the only thing. Okay. King g8, it should be 5, rook e8. Okay, it got flagged. <laughs> this was very unfortunate for him. He couldn't take the last pawn <laughs> but okay I guess that's how it goes I guess that's normal in this tournament in this format I mean knight c3 knight f3 he played a very good game that game so he normally plays good those structures so I should be careful a little bit so I mean now I got d4 right because if I don't go d4, then it's unpleasant. I push d5, bishop g2, castle. Probably is already better here, I don't know. So knight d2, he has to exchange, I guess. Because e5 looks too risky to me. He goes knight f5. I mean, bishop d2. Bishop c3, I should play a little faster here. Queen d3. Takes. The unpleasant thing is that g4 always it goes knight h4. That is very unpleasant. So we go knight c3. Oh, I gave him knight e4. Okay, let's go back. He takes and go b5, I guess. No, that's just knight f5. Okay, let's just move around a little bit. We should reach 3. Now maybe I'm maybe he cannot play b5 because I take and we're gonna five yeah. So it goes knight d6. Rook c1 b5 takes takes knight d1. Maybe it's good. Because d7 is also hanging, so it's not so bad. So now he has to take probably. Should take because knight f5, then I just take on a fight, probably. Yeah, so he took and go rook e8. So now he doesn't go b5, I guess. So play rook d1, rook e1. Probably I am slightly better here, but not much for sure because of how solid he is. 
But I have some pressure. I mean, I took goalie 4, queen c2. Very easy position to play. But he has knight, so this is always dangerous. Could be always dangerous. We'll see how he's gonna handle this. So, he goes for b5. He doesn't see any other move. So, it's understandable, I guess. So now he has problem with e7 and d7 pawn. So if he moves the rook, I take on e7. King f7, I could... I thought I could go queen a4, but... Rook d8, I guess. Yeah. Rook e3. f5, somewhere it goes. I don't know how to break this. I could take the b file. Yeah, let's go rook b1 now. For sure he's going to play f5. Yeah, so rook e1. Rook b8, queen c2, queen e2. Okay, I have to go rook e1. I don't want to give him rook b4, but what to do? I go just bishop f1 and I think I'm safe there. So he goes queen b6 probably. Queen e2 then. It can be unpleasant for him. Okay, he just goes d6. This is such a risky move. I mean, just queen e2. He has to go queen c8. Luckily, he has queen c8 still, but this is very bad for him. I mean, he goes rook b8. I just take and go rook d1, rook d3. Ah, oh, probably he's fine now. Queen h6, he goes king g8, rook e3. So let's push h4, h5. Queen f4. I mean, I could go queen g5, I guess. Queen h6. Let's go queen h1. Okay, e5 is a good move because f4, e4. Oh, I don't have anywhere. Okay. This is dangerous for me. Also, he's low on time, so. Now I got the last rank. Yeah. Okay, he's going to get flagged, so. Yeah. Okay. He again played a very good game, but I was better when I had this double. I doubled my rooks on the e file, so. I don't know. But okay, he plays playing very good. Of course. G6. He goes e3 now. Okay, let's go this bishop with 5 line. Let's see how he's going to play. So he goes d3. I mean, let's just go knight f6. So, queen d7. I'm going to exchange these bishops. And go a5. Last, uh, last game he played very good these positions. This position, so let's see. I have to improve something here. Maybe I already improved because I exchanged these bishops. So h6. Goes knight d5, probably. Yeah, he wants knight b6. So I will go queen d8. If he takes, I take this the pawn. I don't think it's a big problem. Who knows? So e6, he takes everything and go queen b5. I mean, even that one I should not be worse. He's probably not going to take, but b8. 
Yeah, maybe I am slightly worse. Yeah, because of this H6 spawn is very important. So, yeah, this is unpleasant. G5 takes G4. Okay, let's just throw this one. Yeah, it goes H3. Uh, let's just take. He's going to take rook e8, bishop c3, takes, takes, d5, takes, takes. I don't know. So he's going to take d5. I'm much worse here for sure. But. Who knows if he's going to handle it or not? Maybe this G5 H3 inclusion is just turned out to be much better for him, but okay. Now, I mean, I should take it. Okay, takes queen, takes. Okay, let's take. Does rook c4 is normal? Queen f6 goes h4, okay. Rook d8, he takes, yeah, he's very. No, no, this gone wrong. This has gone very wrong. Rook h4, and I just bust it here, yeah? Yeah, G7, King of 8, he's going to play Queen C5, okay, look H1 even, look D8, yeah, this is lost, his king is very safe. The four queen g7, but yeah, even takes is winning. g7, rook h7, rook f8, knight g5, d8. He's pawn up, so I'm not sure if queen exchange was the best, but he's still winning for sure. So let's say as rook c4, maybe I don't know. Okay, he goes knight f3. Should I go back? Yeah, I will go back. He goes knight d4 probably. Rook c8. Knight g5, I go rook f8. Yeah, now I go knight d5. He just took, okay, that was surprising. I mean, 97. Rook c2. Let's see, Now we got knight c3. Okay, why he didn't take on d4 and king d5? This is losing now. This was insane. I mean, he could have just gone take on d4 and king d5. Okay, he thought maybe this is his brain was not fast enough to see that he took on e6, so now he has d5 as square. So, who knows? I sent him rematch, so I don't know. Yeah, okay. So, c4, okay. Knight c3. Okay, is he going to take it again in r3? Okay, he's going to do. Should I? Is it? 
And Bishop G2, Knight C6, Castle G6. Okay, I like D4. D5, I don't think I had problem here. I mean, let's try Bishop H3 this time. So he goes g6. And what if I go here? So now I am threatening bishop d4. And if he goes knight f5, I might take, I don't know, I'm not sure. Okay, he just goes knight h5. But I have this this move, no? I think I have. So now I'm wait, wait, wait. I could take. I, could, I just take, I think. Now I'm just going out. No. This has gone wrong for him. So rook c1. Oh, he got e6. Uh, e6 is very unpleasant because if I take, he takes this d pawn, takes, takes b3. He just goes rook d3, king g2. Yeah. I mean, I could go queen d3, takes pawn, takes. I should go for this one. I mean, this is easier. But I could not take this knight. Yeah, this is better for white. Because I'm pawn up, I have my pawn on d5, which makes some. creates some problem for black, so. yeah. I mean, I could go knight b5. I could go knight e4. I go knight b5. He just takes. Queen e7. b3. Okay, he goes rook c5. I could take and go d6. Yeah, I mean, I am much better here, so. If I manage to get rook e1, then I am. That area, he goes rook e8. Knight to 7 Maybe he has to go back. Because this is 4 Oh, I missed rook e4, okay. But okay, it's not... He's completely lost here. For sure. So... He just takes... Rook takes, green takes. I uh, I mean, if I manage to make work rookie farm, rookie one, queen rookie two, rookie seven. I will go rookie one. So he takes on a two. I go bishop of one, and his f seven pawn is very weak. But maybe it's just not enough. Who knows? So let's say rook a2, queen c4, rook b2, rook e7, queen f8, open and disconnected. Okay. I mean, did I have lag? Is he sinking or I have lag? Okay, he was sinking, so... I mean, I could take this one just for the start. So he cannot take, I go rook e8. And if rook b1, I just go bishop c6. So, bishop c6 here. Knight e8. And queen c3. Trading queen g7 mate. It goes bishop of 8 here. Uh, okay, bishop d5. Okay, this is mate. Bishop of 8, Bishop d5 is also winning. So.
So this was a very good game. And this this opening is not precise for him, I think. So maybe he changes next game. Who knows? I mean, let's just again try this one. So g6. Let's go d6 again. But this time let's go e5. e5. Cancel. So he wants knight e1. Let's go rook b8 this time. So if I, he goes knight e1, then I go bishop e6 and d5. No need to waste tempo on h6. Queen e4 is a strange. Let's go bishop e6. He goes knight g5, I go bishop d7. So d5, he wants knight g5, d4. Okay, go h6. He goes knight e1, I go knight d4. And queen d1. g5. He goes h4, okay. <laughs> this is strange. h4. Let's go f6, I guess. Takes, takes. I'm not sure who gets the h file. Probably it's not him. I'm not sure though. Let's just go king f7 straight. Straightforward, rook h8. I will try to mate him. It was very strange he opened the h file. So let's say if I go queen g8, knight e4, queen h7, takes on d6, king g8, e3. I should go for this one. I don't care about bc5, of course, then queen h7. I think he has to go knight e4, queen h7, knight d6. King g8, e3. Queen h2, king f1. Okay, you should take. He goes e3 now, for sure. Yeah. So, bishop h3. Bishop h3. Queen f1, and queen f3. g4, f5. Let's just try this one. I'm not sure. I don't think it's the right way to attack this position. But because queen h2 is not made. Oh no, yes. Yeah, yeah. bishop h3 is very bad. Was very bad move. Not precise. But I guess I have still some counterplay. Some counterplay left. I'm not saying I am not losing, but Queen takes, okay. Yeah, this is very bad. Ninety five Bishop C three. Okay, he goes to knight E one. So, rook h4, so g4, threatening knight f3, so he has to go queen g2, queen h5, still I am threatening knight f3, knight e1 was a strange, I think now I got some counter to play, so let's say he goes king f1, yeah, I mean, she's, this is very close. Knight f3. Um, how should I play this? Queen e5. So he goes knight e4, f5, knight c5. Just takes. Yeah. I'm busted here. 
Eu que estou no item free. D4, yeah. This was a strange game. This was very strange. He managed not to get mated. It's very strange to me. So knight f5 is made, yeah? Knight of 8 Queen of 7 and 8, okay. I think I had a win there. There's no way I had. I didn't have main. But who knows? Okay, so now match is on probably. I have to win this game. Otherwise, it is going to be tough. So, he again goes for this. But okay, he now played e6. Maybe he improved something. So, rook b8. Bishop e3. Bishop e3. He just goes knight e7, takes, takes, knight b5, take on b2, rook b1, bishop g7, take, okay. Not sure. Let's just go for this, I don't know. So knight e7, knight h6 also. Good move. Checking your fate and four. Let's just take, I don't know. So we should be two. And the ninety six check is nothing, yeah. Yeah, it goes green G seven. So rook b1, let's say. Yeah. Check. Queen e4, I guess. King e7, maybe even also queen e4. King d6 takes. Oh, no, no. King e7, knight e4. I am worse, but not lost. So we need four. Ninety um. five, probably. But then. Takes, pawn takes, queen a7, he's worried about, okay, he just goes a5, he's very greedy. He's a greedy man. Rook d1. He goes bishop d4, I guess. How can I be forced in such position? I cannot play it even. There's no way I am worse here. Let's just go for this boring position. I cannot be worse. Rook d1. Probably it's just a draw. Takes, takes. Or even this, yeah. Mm. Takes. Yeah, now I gave him some counter to lay to my to. Now he can attack my king b queen b seven. I don't like this. Maybe d six was not precise, because now he has at least queen c five, and rook e two, rook d two. So uh, tough. 
Maybe five takes. Takes, takes. Okay, let's go back. I'm going to lose this game for sure because now he has rookie four. Rookie four can be two f six. Yeah, this is sad. Rookie four. Okay, let's exchange the coins and play for draw. I mean, this is this is the best thing to do here. This is the best thing to do. I'm going to okay. Is he gonna offer? I don't want to flag here. Flag him or get flagged. And we are going to make draw, right? Yeah. Yeah, I have to play better with black problem. So let's change this stupid English line and go for Catalan. So let's take. Those are going to see two. So oh, it goes bishop g5. Ah, oh, this is his line, yeah. 97, he goes 10 x, you have to take this bishop knight, I guess. And he goes knight d2, knight b3, yeah. Look, c8, knight b3, bishop b4. Ninety five. C five takes. Um, how this line goes, I have no idea. Yeah, this is better for white because he gets the knight to e five and some pressure on f seven. But okay. What can I do? Takes, I go h6. I have a big threat of rook d2, but okay, it just goes knight d3. Rook d6, he gives a check. I have to go back. He goes rook a7 probably. And then I go knight d7. I guess. Yeah, this is a slightly worse for me, but should be holdable, I guess. I don't know. So knight d5, he goes check again, I guess. And let's see. There, is, there are some lags, I think. I don't know. A3. F6. Um, yeah. This is unpleasant. Simply unpleasant. Yeah. A5, rook b8, b5, rook b8, b4. And, okay, he goes knight b7. So, rook a6, knight e7, or. This is very bad. I'm happy with this rook b5 position, but yeah. 
goes 98, yeah, looks like 96. Mm, 95 like C4 maybe is a threat. And a four rook C6 rook with seven. Okay. So I have to go knight C4. And I got mated, I guess. Or not. Rook D6. Yes, I got mated. This guy is very good at technical positions. He got h5. But yeah, takes rook e7. He's up like 7 pawns, I don't know. Just... Right, e3 is not enough. So I have to take and run the a pawn. And hope for the best. King G8. Ninety five. One. Okay. Okay, blunder through. This is winning. Yeah. Very unfortunate for him. But this is how it goes. This is how it goes, I guess. So let's go see for knight c3. Uh, knight of three. Yeah, let's play this position. Is he gonna take a gain on this three or? No, not this time. Okay. You should be four. I mean, I should take it with queen. This is how they played. Yeah, very boring. Very boring. B three. A3, A3 is not a stupid, I should have gone D5, probably, Queen P2, uh, okay, he has pressure for sure. So let's go knight f1 and then we go d5 f3 knight e1 because e4 f4 knight f3 king g2 takes six I cannot be worse again. F5, H4, Knight F7, Knight G2, G5, King F2, okay. I should be slightly better, maybe not. But I like my position, he's also wasting a lot of time. Yes. So. King G2, he doesn't have any tactics. So, Queen E2. Because Queen H3 probably, just because I cannot play H4 next. And now F5, I guess. Knight D3, E4. E4, I play F5. Yeah. I have to exchange the Queens, if possible. Queen of fun is a good move. So now I go h4. Okay. 
we need string yeah the problem is my knight if I manage to solve my knight problem then I am better E4 always. What are the E4 or F4? And it's not that bad. I mean, he doesn't have the A file at least. So F4, Knight C2, it takes. Uh, I got tricked. Queen G6, Knight C2. Okay, he wants to attack without queens. Which is the right thing to do. Yeah, yeah, this is bad. Let's see too. Okay, it is, yeah. Ninety-four. This is last, completely last. Because rook is seven and I'm mated, right? Ninety-six. Should I run? Can I run even? This is mate, right? No? If he doesn't take, then I'm fine. King Yvonne. Oh no, no, now rook, now rook g3. Now he got in. Knight g4. <laughs> It was a very good game by him. He's very strong, so he's not so easy, of course. So, is there a break? I, th I think there is break somewhere, but probably not here. I don't know. They told me after game 8, but I guess not. So. Right, C6. So, very boring player, I think. He's gonna lose the match if he plays like this. Because, I don't know. So, let's say E5 takes, takes. He's going to take all the pawns. I will go e5. Take my pawn. Or not, he's just going to go to play knight c3. I'm very stupid. He just takes and go knight c3. For some reason I thought he should just take this bishop. I'm blind. Yeah, now he gets his positions. <laughs> so. Yeah. This is last. This is last, actually. Rook e8. Okay, let's play fast this game. Dude, my only chance is his clock here. So. Let's flag. Because otherwise, then I'm just. Busted. Nice. Okay, he goes 95. I gave him 95 for no reason. My queen on d8 was protecting 95, but now, yeah. Now he has 95. 
can I open them, please? Okay, at least I get some. At least I get something. H5. Can he play H4? Then E3 maybe. But then F4. Yeah. Just goes queen C5. I put my queen on G6. And hopefully I manage to get my bishop out. Then I'm fine, but not easy to get all of this. Because bishop C8, he has rook C6. So I cannot move my bishop. And if I move my rook, then it takes on a 7. So I have to start with a5 or h4. Okay, let's let's go h4. I will not take. But let's put the pawn there. Um, should I go f6? That's very stupid. Rook d8, queen a7, bishop c8 takes takes. I will sack the pawn. I will sack the a7 pawn. HG. Yeah, bishop c8. If he exchanges, then he has a lot of problem with light squares. So. Okay, he doesn't take. Now I get my bishop out. So whenever I take, now he has to take his f1, I guess. Because it is very dangerous to take with h, then bishop f3, queen h5. So that is plus for me at least. And he is using a lot of time. So I think we are in a decent situation if there is no lag. Yeah. So let's put this guy here. Let's go this. Hey, just to defend this stupid pawn. Or this is not a stupid pawn. This this guy is saving my life here. I should save. I should keep him. So. I take here. Looking eight. I'm losing a lot of time. That is one. Look the eight. Look C one. Look D one. A little lag. Okay. I think there was a break. I don't know why they're. They told me. I mean, and she's not answering. Let's see. Okay, he's there, so... 
So let's go for. I think you have to mute your mic, I guess. Okay, so he's just checking the. Uh, he wants to sacrifice the rook. So takes, pawn takes. Takes, 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 Okay, let's take. If knight takes, then I take the rook. He's bluffing here. Or not. Does queen a4, king a4? Okay, let's just give it a check. Let's play this like normal. Normal human being. Rook d1. I will go rook e1. And. We have a safe position here. Okay. So goes a six. Look e one he goes look a seven or something. But doesn't bother me, I guess. He goes look e seven, I go before. This is better for white, for sure. I don't know why he keeps taking, keep taking on f3. I don't think it's good line for black. But he likes it, so what can I do? So now my threat is bc5 and knight e4. And he has some problem. He goes rook e8. So takes 94. Probably queen c7 he's going to play. Yeah. Knight g5. He goes h6. And if I go to queen a3, is he going to play knight c2? Yeah. So rook b1, let's play it. Rook b1, I think I am better here. Rook d1. Did I blunder? Probably f5 was winning, I don't know. So king f1. Queen a3. We don't have tactics here. So let's go. Okay, let's go back. Rook d3. What am I doing? He blundered. Rook <laughs> 6 First, I also thought rook b7, but he had to go rook b8. Rook b7 is not. We're hanging on everything. He's tilted, I think. Was this. What, what is the score? Oh, the match is over, okay. Oh, this was the last game I didn't even realize. So it was a very good match, I guess. He had, he played a very good game, right? I thought I would get better results, but okay, that's how it goes. So thanks, thanks for watching and have a good game.